Hey guys, work here. Welcome back to the bench. Today we are going to replace the sight on our CZ SP01. I've got my little helper here again. Say hi. Hi, camera. <laughs> <laughs> so we are going to be replacing these sights now. I just did a review on the sights that are on this gun. It is the standard back and that CZ gold front, and I don't like that thing, so these are both coming off. What we're going to be replacing them with is, we're going to be replacing them with these Dawson fiber optic sights. So let's go ahead and get started here. First thing we need to do is, after making sure it's clear, we're going to go ahead and pull it down, and let's go ahead and pull the recoil assembly out, the barrel out, and let's get our block down. So the next thing we need to do is we need to get our pin punched out. So let's grab an appropriate punch, appropriate punch, and let's grab a hammer, get that thing out of here. All right, there's our pin. Next, let's go ahead and get this front side off. So let's go ahead and grab our nylon punch. I'm gonna go ahead and place this on our block so that we can punch that sight straight down through that center hole, get everything lined up, and let's tap it off. Dad, you know why it's so loud? Why? Because boxes are so hard to hammer, so I have to shoot it really hard. Oh. There we go. Okay. There's something coming up, With that, Dad. our front sight is out. Let's go ahead and sit that to the side. And let's go ahead and while we're at this, we're going to go ahead and get this rear sight out. First, we are going to mark. Well, I was going to say let's go ahead and pull that Allen out, but that Allen screw is already loose. So not a whole lot we got to do there. Just get it up and make sure that it's out of the way. Then let's grab our sight pusher. Okay, so first things first, let's go ahead and take a look at which direction these were put in. So a lot of the times you're gonna hear that CZ sights are put in from left to right going this way. Well, you can usually see some little scrape marks where the sights were actually put in. And every single one of my CZ sights have been actually put in from right to left going in this way. So we're gonna push this one out going this way. We're gonna go by the mark on the bottom of my Dawson's in order to put that one back in. So let's go ahead and get this thing strapped down and get it out. Oh, we're also gonna make note of the approximate center location of this. So we're going to go ahead and take our pen that we talked about in our useful tools. Let's mark a spot on the center of our site and get an idea of which. Okay, so I've got a mark where the approximate center is. It's actually a little bit, I'm gonna mark two of them because it's actually in between two. So there it is. So let's go ahead and, okay, go ahead and get everything hooked up in our Vism sight tool. And with that, let's go ahead and pull off our stock sight. Hey Dad. Yeah. You know I have to smash it so hard? What? My boxes are the hardest thing to break. They are? Yep. Can I have a bigger hammer? No. Because it's a really strong box. No, I need to smash next. Oh, baby one. All right, with that all finished up, let's go ahead and put our new sights in. So we are going to take our Dawson Precision rear sight. We're going to look at the bottom. We're going to look at the direction that the arrow is telling us to go, and it is telling us that we got to go this way. So let's go ahead and drift this sight in from left to right. Now it does feel extremely tight in there. Let's go ahead and actually start with the front. So what we're going to do is we're going to pull the fiber rod out of the front. We're going to take it and we're going to just do a little bit of sanding on the bottom of this thing. We're going to just do a little bit of sanding on the bottom of this thing to assist in its slide in and through. Okay. So with that, we should be able to get this thing pounded in here. It is going to slide in just like this. And we're going to go ahead and a little bit of pounding. With that, the front is that was set in hat. place. Good job. The front is set in place. And we can go ahead and put our pin back in. Let's go ahead and grab our roll pin punch. Toss our pin. And try to get this in in one shot. That almost got down on my foot again. And just like that, our front sight is in. Now we can move on to the back. Okay guys, I'm back now, multiple hours later. Try to finish this project up. <laughs> My son is no longer down here with me, so hopefully we will be getting this thing finished up tonight. So next thing we gotta do is we gotta get this back sight in. And to get this back sight in, the first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tell which direction I need to go in. So we're gonna start from 
We're going to look at the bottom. Now on these Dawson's there is an arrow on here showing you the direction that the site's going to be sliding in. So it's going to be this way but technically we're going in this way so it's going to be going this way. So let's go ahead and test fit first and put it in and kind of see how far we can get it in there. Because with Dawson's you do need to custom size things so we will have to be modifying our dovetail just a little bit here. But I'm going to go ahead and give it some taps and see just how far we can slide in on our own before we start to do some reshaping. Oh, actually, we may not have to because about halfway through right now and I think, I think, I think we can go ahead and toss this on the sight pusher push this the rest of the way through. Now I'm going to put a dab of blue Loctite on here and the reason I'm using blue is I learned my uh, lesson with the red with the PO7 sights. We're not using red Loctite anymore. <laughs> so again I'm using my Vism sight pusher and this thing is as I said in my review amazing. I love this sight pusher. I mean shoot for what this thing is you're really not going to get a better sight tool, I don't think, for the money. And with that, let's go ahead and start sliding. I'm just going to push it through. It is... I'm going to readjust slightly. The reason I'm going to readjust is I'm going to pull it up a little bit. CZs are a little difficult because of the size of their slides. Um, it's just really hard to make sure that you're getting just the sight and nothing else, but okay. Gonna keep pushing this thing through. And once we are pretty much centered, okay, that's it. Let's go ahead and yank it off. Check out our handiwork as far as the sight goes. I'm gonna go a little bit more right after I clean up the excess lock tight. You can already tell I'm gonna love these sights. Okay, let's get this thing locked back in here really quick. Give it one more little nudge, just a little bit more. Ugh. There we go. Okay, that looks perfect. So let's go ahead and set our sight tool aside. Let's take a look here. So now we've got our front sight and our rear sight. And let's go ahead and get our set screw screwed the rest of the way in. All right, so now the only thing that we have left is to finish up by placing our front fiber optic in here. So let's go ahead and grab our front fiber. Now, the way that the Dawson's come, they come with three pieces of fiber optic. Two pieces are um, just bare separate pieces and one piece actually already has the bulb on the end. So we're going to be using that piece. We're going to go ahead and stick it in from effectively the back of the site and get it up all the way through here. These Dawson's are really nice because they've got a cup. You see focus. They've got a cup in this section that that fiber actually fits down into and what that does is that shrouds it a little bit and gives you a really nice fine point there rather than the splash that you would get if it was just the uh, the molded mushroom of the fiber itself. So now what we need to do is we need to trim this front section and then we need to melt that back into a bulb to be able to get everything nice and tight in here. So the first thing we need to do is grab a razor blade. So let's go ahead and get that ready. Now what we're going to be doing is we're going to make sure we're going to pull out on our fiber here to make sure that it is as far this way as we can. We want to make sure that that nub is pocketed. Then we want to hold it into the sight with our other hand. Next we're going to take our razor blade and we're going to about a sixteenth of an inch away from the sight we're going to score the fiber. Okay, and that score should be just enough so that you can take the fiber and snap it. There we go. Okay, so now our fiber is snapped. So now, I'm going to switch hands really quick. We want to take our lighter and 
this rod, what it's going to do is as it starts hitting the heat from our lighter, it's going to start bulbing up. So what we want to do is we want to light our lighter and just get it close. And you can watch, I'm going to try not to catch my camera on fire here. You can watch as I get close to my nub, to my fiber, that it's going to bulb up and hold that fiber nice and tight in place. So as soon as that is all dry, our fiber is all finished and we now have a nice fiber sight on the front of our SPO1 as well as the blacked out rears. Let's go ahead and reinstall this thing and see what these things look like. Take the barrel, get that guy in there, grab our spring, get him shoved back up and in there, toss that back on our frame and pull it back. Get our takedown lever, slide stop pressed back through, and that's it. With that, we are back together, and now we have some really nice sights on here. So that's it, guys. We now have our good, nice competition sights on our SPO1. I cannot wait to get these things out to give them a shot. Really, the only thing left that I've got to do to my SPO1 is swap out these grips. These grips are going to be traded out for a set of lock grips. Um, I'm going to go with the lock bogies in black and gray, and that should give me the additional grip that I need to be able to really lock in. So that's it for this time, guys. Remember, if you found this video useful, go ahead and like and subscribe down below. If you're looking forward to the review of these sites, go ahead and hit that notification icon. Remember, guys, I appreciate every one of you, and until next time, do your research, get informed, and get to work.